the present wave mechanical model of atom describes the electrons in an atom as a series of standing waves or matter waves which orbit the nucleus at a very high speed the acceptance of this theory is based on the experiments conducted by gp thomson and davison and germer or by artificially accelerated electrons the electron beams are created by applying high voltages between the anode and cathode in the experimental setup but unfortunately in an atom there is no such a force which can consistently accelerate its electrons and so the present wave mechanical model of, model of atom is simply wrong there are three factors that determine the electron configuration in a multi electron atom they are one attraction from the nucleus two repulsion between electrons repulsion between electrons in a shell and between inner and outer shells and three bond force exerted by space matter watch video structure of atom the new atom model the density of space matter is greater at the near surface of the nucleus and it decreases with the increasing of the distance from the nucleus since each of the different space matter regions with the precise radiuses from the center of the nucleus has unique densities each of those regions acts as resonant columns with the unique natural frequencies an atom has enormous number of resonant columns in it we can call a resonant column in an atom as a shell there are three types of shells in an atom one electron shells the electron shells are the shells in which the electrons are configured in an atom when the atom is in non excited state hydrogen and helium have one electron shell two transitory shells the transitory shells are the regions in which the electrons can jump from the electron shells when the atom is in excited state an atom has enormous number of transitory shells in it three inner transitory shells the inner transitory shells are the shells that inside of the innermost electron shell atoms can be excited in different ways exothermic chemical reactions collision of energetic particles with atoms collision between atoms by incident photons etc when an atom is excited its shells start to oscillate since each of the shells has their own unique natural frequencies when excited a shell oscillates in its natural frequency if a shell has one or more electrons in it the excitation of that shell causes the electrons in it also oscillate with the shell this oscillation of the electrons causes the emission of photons in the natural frequency of that shell when an electron is excited in an atom for every oscillation towards the direction of the nucleus the high density space matter in the inner region of the atom expels the electron to an outer low density space matter region for example when an electron shell with an electron in it is excited in an atom the electron emits a photon in the natural frequency of that shell and jumps to an outer transitory shell if that transitory shell is simultaneously excited by some waves the electron again emits a photon in the natural frequency of that transitory shell and jumps to an uh, jumps to a further outer transitory shell in this way an atom with only a few electrons in it can emit a wide range of spectral lines when continually excited watch video line spectrum of hydrogen atom what is photon and the mechanism of photon emission since an electron has a standing electric field and magnetic field at a right angle the electric field of an electron in an atom will be always directed to the positive charge of the nucleus and the magnetic field will be horizontal to the nucleus watch video structure of electron so when oscillates the electric field of the electron will be parallel to the oscillation and the magnetic field will be perpendicular to the oscillation 
this association of the electron creates a transverse wave on its magnetic field and the oscillating magnetic field is radiated to space watch video what is light